Welcome back to the Green Workbench. Today we're building a vinyl record wall hanging. Now what you need is some sort of molding which secures your hanging records from the wall. Crown molding works, that's what I'm using. A chair rail or just a straight piece of wood. Um, whichever one you like, that will work. You also need some nylon webbing. This is black one inch polypro nylon webbing. And then you need screws and washers. The screws, the length of your screw is going to depend on the width of your molding. It just needs to be small enough that it won't stick through when you screw it into the thickest part. Also, a soldering iron. This is a, a, an old soldering iron I keep around for things like this with the fine tip. And I'll show you why you need that later. And a small 1 16th inch drill bit to drill your pilot holes for your screws. Now first you need to decide how, lo how wide your project is going to be. Depending on how wide your wall is. And then how long your hanging records are going to be. I have a vaulted ceiling, so mine is 8 to 10 feet. In so cut your <coughs> nylon webbing to that length. Now, the easy way to calculate it is your records will hang 12 inches apart. So every 12 inches you'll have a hole for another record. And then you want to give the width of your molding. So in my case, about two and a quarter, plus a couple inches to start. So let's say four inches, and from once you start get to, down to that four inches, then you go down six to be, get to the beginning of the record, and then every twelve after that. So ten inches down to your first hole, and every twelve after that. Now it will be alternating, so your next record or your next piece of webbing and they'll be about 15 to 16 inches apart but the next one you need it to be alternating so instead of dropping down 10 inches you would drop down 16 inches that way your records can overlap and you'll see you'll see that when you look at the the picture of the finished product Once you cut your webbing, you see it starts to come apart here at the ends and can unravel very easily. So the way to stop that from happening is you take a lighter burn the ends. Be careful that melted nylon is very hot and sticky if it touches your skin it will burn you. Okay, so both ends of your straps, I'm just doing a short one for demonstration purposes. Okay, both ends are sealed. They won't unravel anymore. Okay, now you need to determine the thickest spots on your wood and that's where you will drill the holes. You'll see here I have a spot there and there. So measure that out. Which is difficult to show on the video. But three eighths from the top and one inch from the bottom and spaced 15 inches apart. So, number three eighths from the top, one inch from the bottom.
going to drill my pilot holes carefully, making sure I don't go all the way through. Okay, this is where your soldering iron is going to come in. Now you were 3 8 inch down from the top. Now remember to seal off this nylon so that it doesn't run, you melt it. Soldering iron, perfect way to melt it and create a hole for your screw. So 3 8 inch down. got a hole and it sealed off the edges. Now the next screw was about seven in, seven eighths down from that. Okay, those ends, those holes are perfect. Now you're going to use the soldering iron also to make the holes every 12 inches uh, in order to hang your records as well. We'll get that to that in a minute. So your holes should line up. Yep, perfect. Now there's a lot of weight hanging on this. So the washer adds a little bit of extra thickness but also distributes the weight. I'm not going to go down tight. I'll do that by hand. Okay, that'll hold a lot of weight. You get two points, screws, and washers. You notice there's no holes or cracking in the front of the molding because I put it in the thickest sections. Now, we will move on to placing the holes and how we attach the records. Okay, now I'm going to burn in the holes to attach the records. This can be done before or after your webbing is attached to your molding. Before actually might be easier, but uh, we've already attached it, so we'll just go from here. Remember our measurements. I'm going to come down 10 inches. And by doing that, that'll ensure that the top of that first record is right just below the molding at the 4 inch line. So, down at 10 inches. Burn a nice little hole. Now we're going to go down 12 from there for the next record. Okay. 
then you can set up some sort of marking system to make this easier and quicker. Okay, so now it's ready to attach the records and you've gone through on every piece of webbing hanging down, you've created the holes and it's ready to attach. Um, also one thing I didn't mention, you may want to stain, finish, polish your molding. I spray painted mine a black, a glossy black that looks great with the records. Uh, blends right in, looks great on the wall. Um, so that was what I did, but any color or any type of finish will do. Okay. So, records. I went down to the thrift shop. They have tons of records, very cheap, and you can decide what type of record you want, whether it's you want a certain type of music, a certain type of band. Um, I went by the color so that we had a good variety of the centerpiece and got a little bit of everything. So, line up your holes and the way you attach them, simple. You used to use these all the time in school, right? Make game pieces, attach dials to a paper plate. <laughs> but anyway, you get these at your local office store. They're just called round head fasteners. Thread it up through your record. Through the webbing, flatten down, voila. Remember we went 12 inches apart and that places the records at just the right distance. A little Oklahoma the Musical and Tis the Season by Jackie Gleason. <laughs> So when they're hanging, it's just right. It's got about a quarter of an inch in between each record. Go all the way down the wall. Perfect. Now the secret to this is do not attach the records until it's already hanging on the wall. Otherwise it's impossible to get it up. So have all the webbing attached, your molding painted, finished the way you want it, everything's ready to go. Take it to the wall that you are going to hang it on. Make sure the molding is level. Determine where the studs are. Sorry about that. Determine where the studs are in your wall. You're going to want to pre-drill holes in your molding because this will crack. So pre-drill holes in your molding, 16 on center, if that's what your, your wall studs are. Make sure it's level. You screw one in, level it out, screw the next one in, secure the whole thing to the wall, and then start hanging your records. And it will look great. What I was saying before about offsetting your records, if your first one starts here, you don't you can't start your second one up. That's why you go down the extra six inches so that they're offset like this. Fairly simple project, looks great in the room. 
for your music room, den, man cave, uh, wherever it fits. But it's secure and a great conversation piece and a lot of fun. And you can mix and match your records. If you want all Christmas albums during the Christmas season, you can switch them out without having to take it down because you're just using these fasteners. So it's very easy to take them on and off. Um, if you don't want the brass fastener, you can get different colors or use a Sharpie and color them and color it in on the top. But it's very customizable, very easy to do, very strong, and you don't even have to secure the bottom of the nylon webbing. You can, you can secure it to the wall if you want, but you don't need to because gravity will make sure that it's hanging straight. And that's it. Thanks for watching.